In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use the different shape tools in PaintShop Pro to create preset shapes, rectangles, ellipses, symmetrical shapes, and more. You'll also learn how to customize these shapes and fill any of these cutout shapes with images. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. First, I want to demonstrate the Preset Shapes tool that you can use to add a preset shape to your photos. Click on the callout icon on the tools toolbar. You can also activate this tool by pressing P on your keyboard. On the Tool Options palette, click the arrow beside the Shape List icon to select a preset shape from the shape list. If you wish to change the color of the preset shape, make sure the Retain Style checkbox is unmarked, and then select Colors from the Materials palette. The background color sets the fill color, and the foreground color sets the outline color. Now just click and drag to create your shape. If you don't want your preset shape to have a fill, click the Transparent button under the Background and Fill Properties box. Then simply drag out your shape, and you'll have just the outline of the preset shape. As you are creating your shape, you can drag up, down, left or right before releasing the mouse button to flip the shape. It's important to note that if you want to place the preset shape on the current vector layer, mark the Create on Vector checkbox on the Tool Options palette. If no vector layer exists, marking this checkbox creates one for the preset shape. If this checkbox is unmarked, the preset shape is placed on a raster layer. Placing a preset shape on a vector layer makes it easier to edit. While you can edit a shape with the pick tool if it is placed on a raster layer by rotating, resizing, skewing, and so forth, just as you can with a vector layer, you have more options when placing a preset shape on a vector layer. With a vector shape, you can also use the pen tool in edit mode to do node editing. Additionally, if you right-click on the vector shape layer inside the vector layer group in the layers palette and choose properties, it will open the vector property window. Here you can change the line style, stroke width, and both colors. However, if you want to apply an effect like a drop shadow, you'll need to create the shape on a raster layer or convert the vector shape layer to a raster layer. Now I want to show you some of the customization options we can use on the Tool Options palette. We can choose a line style for our shape from the line style drop list. We can also choose a stroke width by setting a value in the width control. To create a shape with the same aspect ratio as the one in the shapes list, Simply hold down Shift while you drag out your shape. If you want to place the center point of the shape where you click, right-click and drag out your shape. And if you hold down Shift, right-click and drag, it will draw the shape from the center and allow you to rotate while dragging. Now let's look at some of the other shape tool options. Click on the Rectangle tool from the Tools toolbar or press G on your keyboard. At the top, you can select to use either the Draw Rectangle or Draw Square mode. You can also check Show Nodes if you want to display the shapes nodes. Holding Control while dragging draws a rectangle or square from its center. Then adjust any of the options from the Tool Options palette as we did with the Preset Shape tool. To change the way the line segments join, you can choose Miter Join, Round Join, or Bevel Join from the Join drop list. You can also manually drag the nodes in to adjust the horizontal or vertical radius, and then click the Apply Checkmark button to complete the creation of the shape. Then you can use the Pick tool to individually resize, reposition, or rotate any of the shapes you have drawn. To draw a circle or ellipse, select the Ellipse tool from the Tools toolbar or press Q on your keyboard. You can select to use either the Draw Circle or the Ellipse mode from the Tool Options palette and adjust any of the other settings as previously shown. Then click and drag out your circle or ellipse shape. To make any edits to your shape, you can click on the Edit Mode button on the Tool Options palette and from here, change the color or set the radii and center horizontal and vertical positions. 
Lastly, we can create polygons or stars by selecting the Symmetric Shape tool from the Tools toolbar or press H on your keyboard. You can choose either the Draw Polygon or Draw Stellated mode. You can also type or set a value in the Number of Sides control, then drag to draw the shape. If you want to apply rounded outer or inner corners to the shape, mark the rounded outer or rounded inner checkbox. You can also save any of your created shapes as presets. First, draw your shape with as many vector objects as you'd like. If you have more than one object, select them all in the Layers palette, then right-click on one of them and group them together. Rename the group to what you want the shape to be called in the list of preset shapes. Then go to File, Export Shape, and name the shape the same name that you renamed the shape layer as. You can now go back to the Preset Shape tool and locate your saved shape under the shape list to use in future projects. You can also use shapes to create cutouts that are filled with your photos. To create a shape cutout, open a copy of the image that you want to use as a fill. Then choose any of the shape tools from the tools toolbar. In the image window, drag where you want to create the shape. On the Tool Options palette, click the Cutter Preview button. A semi-transparent mode is activated that lets you preview the cutout. You can now adjust the position, size or rotation of the proposed cutout using the control handles for the object. On the Tool Options palette, click the Shape Cutter button. The cutout is now filled with the underlying photo and is created as a new file with a transparent background. A layer and mask is also created on the current image. If you want to save the new file with transparent background, make sure to save it as a PNG file to preserve the transparency. Have fun experimenting with the different shape tools to create collages and graphic design projects in PaintShop Pro. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for PaintShop Pro.